Hi guys. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a different type of video. It's going to be a tutorial for a epic redstone plane, or not redstone, slime block plane I've created. Um, this took me quite a while, I'm going to be completely honest. It did take me a decently long time to make, about an hour to two hours. I was on a car ride over to my cabin, um, and I whipped this up. Actually, no, because about an hour to make this then, because it takes about an hour to get there. So it took me an hour to make this, um, half of that hour being the back of this airplane. It looks so nice now, but before this thing looked disgusting, so I had to do some remodeling of it, and now it looks pretty decent. Not even gonna lie, it looks pretty decent for a movable airplane in Minecraft. Let's both be honest. It's pretty epic. So, this is the whole thing. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not too good at making tutorials, alright? I don't usually do this on this channel, but I thought some people might want to build this in their own worlds, and I thought, you know, maybe I'll help them, maybe I'll teach them how. Uh, I have many other slime block machines, including cars, limousines, many other slime block machines. If you want to see a tutorial for all of them, uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll make a video on uh, all of my slime block machines and how to create them. Uh, this is just one of the many machines I've created. And my goal was to make it look like an airplane from the top, not really from the bottom. I focused a lot more on the top and making sure that the top was always flat. As you can see, the top was always flat. I wasn't allowed to go above that. Here, that didn't really matter. I had absolutely no choice to put it there, so I had to put it there. Um, but rather than that, I tried to keep it. I tried to keep it so it doesn't go above this slime block. So it. It doesn't go to where the iron block is. And, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job, honestly. But the bottom, the bottom I didn't really care about, but the bottom was surprisingly easy to make. Uh, so it looks pretty decent, including from the bottom and the top. However, there's this little gap here. Now, like, this gap is actually here for the door, which I haven't developed yet, but I have now. So this is the, your little door to go into the airplane. Neat little door, you got a nice cabin area here. You got a window to look outside at the beautiful glory of the world as you fly over top of it. Uh, and then, of course, you got the captain's seat, which is at the front. You can put a minecart in here if you want, because the ignition switch is right in front of you. You can just light it on fire with uh, flint and steel, and it will start going. But I personally like to use obsidian, so uh, let's watch this go on a glory ride. As you see, the whole thing moves, and from the bottom it looks a bit bit distorted, but if we go look at the top, the top is where it gets, and it looks super awesome. When you're at the top, the only thing you can really visibly notice is the wings, that part of the wing right there moving. Other than that, it looks really cool, and it looks like a moving airplane, in which it is. And, um... This is probably my coolest slime machine ever, because I tried to build this in Java and it completely failed. I, I wouldn't say it failed, but I was really sleep deprived at that day and I had no sleep that night. And I failed and I never copied the world, so I lost it. But I copied this world many times, as you can tell by the world name, Copy of Airplane. Uh, this is being hosted from my iPad on a LAN network, which is <laughs> me sick at life. Now I need to make myself an operator here, actually. Let me quickly do that. My iPad here. Oh, that's me. Uh, member operator. There we go. Now we are operator. I shouldn't have to save that. It should just be there. What maybe I do? Yeah, there we go. All right. So now I'm an operator. Uh, but let me show you how to build this. Now, I think I've said this before, or maybe I haven't. I'm not good at tutorials. My channel isn't about tutorials. But if you guys do want my channel to be about redstone tutorials, I can. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be. be preparing another video after this on how to make the simplest code the simplest lever code door that could be expanded for miles it's, it's the simplest thing and honestly it's way easier than the torch methods and I think it should work in Java as well but uh, that will be uploaded probably later this week if you want to see that but until then you guys can learn how to make an airplane with me First, I'm gonna put an obsidian block in the sky. I feel like that's still not far away enough from that airplane. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, go to the decently high in the sky so you don't crash into any mountains. Um, 
I'm actually gonna, yeah, no, um, do this, put an observer facing the way that you're not going. So you're going this way, make sure that this red light's going that way. Uh, and then put a sticky piston. And then do that there. So it looks exactly like that over there. And if you want to know, yes, I am using this for reference because, no, you think I remember how to build that ginormous airplane? No, I don't remember how to build any of that. I didn't, I don't know. I just barely remember how to build it. But anyway, carrying on, you just do this. This is your basic flying machine here. I uh, do this. Then at the top, you can uh, add an observer facing them. Before you do any of that, place an obsidian there and an obsidian there so it doesn't start flying away on you. Because this, this is completely ready to fly. Now, this is our flying machine. This is the tip of the airplane right here, as you can see it is over there. Then right here, we can add two iron blocks for decorative purposes. And now we can officially remove this. And right here, we can add two sticky pistons that are being powered by this observer that's also powering the flying machine, the one piston engine, well, one sticky piston engine, at least. And then we're going to add a humongous thing here. Now, this is where things get big, I'm quite sure. Yeah, this is where things get big. Uh, so I was trying my best to keep it all in here, but then I realized that this wouldn't work, so I, I had to extend it to a 2x2, two by, two by two, or 2x two whatever number it is, I don't know. And I had to do that by doing this, which is why inside the aircraft there's just this little thing right here when the entrance is, like, right there. Just for anyone wondering. Now we can move that 6. So there should be 9 slime blocks on that one. And on that side, I think there's only 3. Yeah, there's only 3 because this side didn't really matter that much. I mean, it mattered, but not, not that much. Now, all observers in this aircraft, I'm quite sure, are facing outside. There will be none hidden inside because uh, I did that in the old one and it broke. So all of them are facing outside. So you should have this. And I always, what I always like to do is I always like to move it slightly just to make sure everything works. It's just the simple, simplest way of making sure everything works, like it does there. You could end up doing this too. But once it gets bigger, you won't be able to do that, right? Because it's not like these sticky pistons can push like hundreds of blocks. I mean, I wish they could do that. And then after you're done that, you can add another piston hidden up in here. Like that. Now this piston, well, I'm pretty sure it would be a honey block now. Uh, just going down like that. Seems to be, yep. It quite literally just seems to be a slime block. Okay. Uh, honey block, sorry. And then you're just going to add an observer facing down into another piston that will be held right here. This piston will be used for the door, which is this right here. And then right here we would have the door. The door would be located right here, and the wing starts right here as well. So this is the wing mechanism right here. This is what controls the wing, is this single piston. It uh, controls the whole entire wing. The wing going out by three or two. So we just do this. There we go. This is the first part of our wing. And then we're going to go ahead and add a observer facing into the slime block. Add a piston. And make it... You can do whatever you want, but... Uh, you can, no, actually, no, you can't, I'm sorry, so, I uh, use honey blocks there. Um, make it go up by three, so, you know, you have that cool thing there. And then, you yeah, can be iron block there, it doesn't really matter what goes there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add another observer facing into there with a piston right there. Now, let me go back and check, like I said, I'm not too good at tutorials, sorry. Uh, I'll need to get better at them. I don't really know what to do. If you guys have any suggestions on how to be a good tutorial guy, let me know because I really have no clue on how to be a good tutorial or how to make this a good tutorial. But um, I really hope the build is a good tutorial. That's all I really hope. Uh, anyway, you can place one other one going out and add that there. And then now this is where you can customize the wing. Like I said here with the uh, iron here, you can make it look like there's flaps or whatever that stuff is there and then the piston which I failed actually goes up here in the corner doing this so it should look something like this it's a very small wing right now at least uh, you'll see later now you want to keep this here because remember the doors right here remember that 
Uh, I think I can actually add, yeah, so we can just add the iron block right there right now. Uh, and the floor will be added later on in the build. The floor is very difficult. It was to build at least. And then we're going to add iron block there. And then this is where your customization comes key in. So we're just going to add another slime block down. And if I'm not mistaken, yep. Sorry, and then we're going to go ahead and do this. I just wanted to take a quick look at that. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Iron block, observer, and piston. So this is the other wing, basically, as we can see over here. The other wing is right here. Being controlled by this thing up here, and the piston in here. Oh, the iron block. But, uh, like I said, you can customize these uh, wing colors, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can customize the slime blocks here. I don't think these matter too much. Because they're not touching any other slime blocks. So that shouldn't matter. Uh, this side shouldn't matter as well. So you can customize them all you want. Uh, this one here has to be green though. And this one here has to be orange. Honey block. For sure. Uh, so then we're going to go ahead and add our block there. And then we're going to go ahead and add our... Um, well, blah, blah, wing. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> oh my god. We can go ahead and add our wing. Now our wing, we can go by two, and then add the observer at the end of it, just like the other one, with the piston there, holding a little, just like a little cool zigzag line. Something about that. Oh, too big. Something like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and have right here. We're gonna have another one that will be going in to. The other one there, after I found out that I messed up, and I'm really stupid, and I'm very sorry, uh, we'll have the iron block there, another sticky piston, just goes right there, and then the honey block there, and it's just basically this, going all across, going one more out, and then right there, piston, I'm really sorry I messed up again, like I said guys, I'm Sorry, I'll get better at my tutorial. For that tutorialing, what? To, to, tutorial, tutorialing, tutorialing skills. Wait, what? What did I just say? Okay. Anyway, carrying on. Um, you're just gonna go ahead and add that, and then add the last final touches, which is that. And then this is your wing. This is wing number two. Add two iron blocks there, and you got yourself wing number two. Alright, so then uh, you can want to add one of those to there and then create the little, another little mechanism here. Oh, nope, stick this in there. So now we have another extension. So we should have just a complete front of the aircraft right now. As you can see, we have the nice cockpit here. We basically have everything in the front. And now we can go ahead and test this. I'm going to move it three blocks. You should always test your builds, but if you if you have a big build and it's almost finished, I suggest creating a copy of the world and then testing it. As you see, that worked. However, uh, I'm really dumb, and I, 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 yeah, I forgot to put that there. Yeah, I'm... This is why we should always grab iron blocks and test the machine, guys. Because if this happened in the future, you know what? I'm going to use this time just to say something, actually. It's a good time to say it, too. If you make a redstone creation and this happens in the future where a single observer is misplaced, it would ruin the whole build. Like, absolutely everything. And I've been in that place before, and it's not fun. So, uh, let's make use of that moment and make sure not to do that again. And uh, always test out your builds in a copy world, unlike me. And what I just did there. Alright, so now comes up the floor. The floor is a very important part. This is the first part of the floor right here. And uh, this is the part where I tried. So over here, uh, I tried to even the pistons out. Where one's here and one's here. However, it didn't work. So that's why, again, that's why there's this hole here. 
But uh, eventually, when I got to the wings and we got back, I managed to space them out by two. So I was happy about that and that they weren't like this. Because then we would have had a small little cabin area, right? And it wouldn't have been too big. And I didn't want that. So, yeah. Then we have this. And do this. And then add that. So we have two L's. Now we should have four on each. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, they're eight because they need to be eight. Uh, we'll be adding more things to the top of these soon. Actually, let me see what we are adding to them. Yeah, so we're going to be adding like iron blocks just to block out everything here. If I'm not mistaken, this one here I think is an actual window, if I'm not mistaken. Let me, let me go check. That should be a window. Yes, sir, it is a window. So you don't need to block that one off, but you do need to block that one off here. So do that there, so that there, which is basically this here. And this one here is a window, because this one here is pushing it along. And then how did I get that to work? Piston is over underneath. Okay, so now this is where the roof comes in. So the roof comes in about right here. There is piston there, and an observer underneath that piston. So let me actually place the observer first, and then the piston. So now we have this. Now we don't want it to interact with this. Now you guys may think, oh, well, if you activate the piston aid and it's going to interact with it. No, it won't. Because when this machine moves back, these these pistons back here will pick this up. Uh, but before it does that, it will pick this up first. Before it picks the wings up, which means it won't touch this. Alright, now the roof is sort of like a module system. It's... Yeah, it's a module system. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Now, I you could place it in here if you want to keep the nice outskirt of the aircraft. But I place it out here so you have more cabin space in here. Um, then, it, why I say it's a module is because it technically is... You just keep adding more of them to it. It's really just this simple. It can go on for miles if you wanted it to. Well, not this long. This is way too long. Actually, no, this is actually no, this is relatively good. So you see here, it can still hold all of them. It can go on for miles. However, that's not how big the plane is. So it only goes on for a while. That while is that while is three blocks going to here and then there, and then the exact same thing happens to it again right there and then the exact same thing happens to it right there now why I say it's a module system because you could just go on with adding all of these right you can make a big moving line if you wanted with these but I mean why why who would want a moving one's clear because we are adding more pistons to them Uh, and just had pistons like that. Ah. And pistons like this. So it should look something like this at the back. Now you should have the a bit of a fuselage created right now. Which which is good. Something's wrong. And that is this. This is wrong. But like that, it won't make a change. But I mean, if you want to have like a one entrance to the cockpit, you would want that. Or you could just have it above like that, like I had before. But that's just something I noticed. Now continuing over there for what, we're have, what we have to do, because this is the part where we make the other floor, basically. Now it needs to be honey block because we use slime block here. Remember that? It's very important, children. Now don't attach the honey block to the observer. Put iron there. Iron protects the protection, kids. <laughs> oh my god. Then just do the exact same thing over. Then just do the exact same thing over here with the other one. It's basically a pattern game now, just keeping everything the exact same length and everything, unlike it was way back there where everything was all weird and wanky. Uh, now it's basically I've evened out the pistons. It's not too small of an area, and it's just basically simple to take it from here. You add those there. You add those there. And then here you add that. And then this is basically where the plane almost ends. However, we do have a little one piece to make here. 
And to do that, all we need to do is make an observer here, here, piston there, piston there. So now you should have something that looks a bit like this. And this from the bottom, with two holes up here. Boop, boop. Very epicness. Alright, so now we're going to start work on the back of the aircraft. Now this is where I had to get crafty with making it. And I thought I could make something that looked quite nice. And I just made this random shape at the back when I made it. And I'm like, you know, this looks kind of nice with this and this. Looks really nice. So I did this. And then we are going to add a couple other pistons onto it. If I'm not mistaken, there should yep, 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 yep. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz stairs. Now, they don't have to be quartz. I just wanted uh, nice white stairs to go with the iron. Um, again, if there's anything iron in this build, you can change the block to whatever block you like. However, make sure the block is not transparent for cases like, let's say, what should I say? For cases like, okay, well, I can't find a case, but I... Just don't want you guys to ruin your build for something that's transparent and can't transfer signals through. Like, you can't transfer signals through glass. Let me, let me show you this. Let me give you a quick lesson. You can't do that. Okay, what am I doing there? You can't do this because it's transparent. Signals will not be sent through the glass. It's transparent. Don't use glass. Don't use transparent materials, period. Thank you. All right. Now, carrying on, there's going to be a piston right there. Uh, no, I don't know where the observer is. Oh, the observer's on top. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had to do that. Uh, then it should just be completely... All right, and then uh, before we carry on with this, we're going to add that there. And add a little other observer there. Which will basically get carried by this slime block here. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, by this slime block here. And then the other piston, which will be right there. Which will be activated by the observer, which is right there. Which is why there's a hole in the aircraft at the very end. If you haven't noticed, that's why there's a hole. Now we can also fill these bottom ones up with iron. I forgot to do that, sorry. Oh, like I knew. I don't know. Again, I don't know how to build this. I'm just going off this when I cut the parts of the video out. But now you should have something that looks a lot like an airplane. Now, once you have something that looks a lot like an airplane, it's valuable. Very valuable. Now we're going to quickly test if it moves or not. Now, I'm going to quickly copy the world. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, carrying on. Uh, this is a backup. Now, test it. And if there's anything wrong with your creation, I suggest completely rewatching the video. Uh, that's just my suggestion. Or you could find it out yourself if, you, if you're like that. And our aircraft seems to be working absolutely beautifully. Seems to be moving perfectly and all in all, amazing. So now that we have that, let's get work on the tail. First thing with the tail that's visually noticeable is that humongous observer. I don't have, oh, there's no optifine in this. Uh, is that humongous observer at the top, which is that thing right there. Now that actually has to be there and I'm sorry. This activates the piston that basically moves the whole back of the air aircraft. I'm not kidding. It moves the whole back of the aircraft. This just piston. This piston moves this, 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 and all this stuff up here. So, to get that done, we make the back of the airplane. It's quite simple to do. Slime blocks or honey blocks, whatever you want. I'm going to use, uh, let me try slime blocks. Because to me, it doesn't really look any different at the back here. I think it looks a bit nicer with honey blocks, but you never know. Maybe... Maybe it looks nicer with this. So we're going to have it extend like that and look like that. Just like that. Now, I forgot to do that. I'm really dumb. Sorry. So now we have this. We can go ahead and add the things, at the, the fins at the back. Don't do that. If you break that observer, make sure that there's something at the back. No. Man, I hate bedrock. I don't hate it, but I mean, it gets quite annoying, all the glitches and stuff that happen in it. 
Anyway, carrying on, we have this very nice thing here. Now, I believe we will be needing slabs now. Slabs. Slabs. I mean, so you had to make the stone cutter thing. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and add our slabs right on top. And right here, we're going to go ahead and add the iron block right there. And now, my friends, you should have a fully functional plane. I forgot the name of it there. But you should have a fully functional plane now. Um, should look very epic. Looks very epic from all angles. Look, they're like twin jets. That's cool. <laughs> um, but if you did enjoy this tutorial, please, please let me know. Because I have so many, so many different slime block creations. It's unbelievable. Uh, I can show you them all in the next video. Or I can make tutorials of them all. Um... If you want to see a flying triangle, uh, a rocket ship, and many other things, uh, let me know. Uh, the slime machines, those ones, are for bedrock only. Um, if you want to see some Java slime machines, a bit bit different, let me know. Uh, and Because Java things have a bit, bit different, uh, like, buds and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. If you do request for me to do a Java video, the Java video will take longer to upload. I'm sorry. Um, and I've already gotten used to this. And I honestly really like this. I, I like I like Bedrock. Bedrock's okay. I'm not saying it's bad or good. I'm saying it's an okay version of Minecraft. Uh, I'm used to not having buds. And when I do get buds in other versions of Minecraft, it pisses me off. <laughs> pisses me off very much. But uh, I don't get these in, ja uh, in Bedrock, which is why I play it so much. But if you guys did like this tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want more, like and subscribe. Um, now, you don't have to subscribe or like. You can just tell me in the comments. But it would be really helpful for the channel here to like and subscribe. And I would appreciate it a lot. Uh, rather than that, it's me, TOG. And let me stop this plane. Please stop. Thank you. Rather than that, it's me, TOG. And, uh, I'm out, guys. See ya.